Hey guys, it's Taylor here and welcome back to my channel. So today, we're going to be reacting to Issue's new album, Headspace. Now, it is May 19th, aka the day before the album comes out officially, but they are streaming it on their YouTube channel right now, and I'm impatient. I literally cannot wait until tomorrow to listen to it, so I'm going to listen to it right now. I think this has been streaming for like a few days, and I've tried so hard not to listen to it, like so hard. I, I can't do it anymore. I'm giving in. So the first song on the album is called The Realist. This song has been out for a few months now, so I'm not really going to react to that because I've heard it before. Love it. Great song. So we're just going to go in on the second song. The second song is called Home Soon. I'm not ready. Oh my god, I'm not ready. Oh my god! Hi. Yes, Michael. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> this song is such a jam. Oh my gosh. Such a jam. Yes, Tyler. Yes. But oh, there he is. Right there. Hi. I'm gonna die. I'm dying. Yep. Dead. Oh my, he's harmonizing with himself! That's... I'm dead. Okay, well, um, dead. Literally such a good song. Oh my gosh, like, I don't know how any of their other songs are honestly gonna beat that song. Cause like, I live for Tyler's falsetto. Like, I live for it. Live for it, okay? And... I am living for Michael singing his clean vocals now. I'm like, hello, like, hi, hi, honey, like, what are you doing? The next song is called Lost and Found, and then in parentheses, On a Roll. Oh my gosh, you know what On a Roll reminds me of? My favorite picture on the internet. I'm gonna show you. I have it saved because it is literally my favorite picture. It's this, and then the, the little bubble says, hey, little guy, you're on a roll. <laughs> I think it's so funny. It's literally my favorite picture on the internet. I find it hilarious. Back to the album. Lost and found on a roll. Oh! Okay. Oh my god! Michael, where you at? Oh. Tyler! <laughs> Dead. Oh! Oh! That chorus! Oh my god, do you hear this? Um, so I, I lied before about saying that Home Soon was their best song. Lost and Found is their best song so far. I love how they got like that chorus. It sounded like Disappear on their last album when they got like that chorus and they're like, Remember when I didn't need you. It sounded like that chorus, but like in this song. Jeez, I'm not, oh god, I was not prepared for this. The next song is called Young and Dumb featuring John Langston. We're just gonna do this, I'm not ready. Oh my. What is that in 
instrument. Do you hear that? Yep, Michael, that was cool, yeah. Yes! I'm guessing this is John Langston. Fantastic. Next song is called Made to Last. Oh, we're starting. We're just starting. Michael! Yes! Oh, God! Oh! Holy crap! Wow, first of all. Um, second of all, wow. Yeah. Third of all, wow. Anyway, the next song is called Flojo. I think that's how you pronounce it. We're just gonna do it. Oh! Yes, Ty! Oh, so blessed for that. Oh, yes. Yes! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I love this. I love this song. Oh, my God. Oh! oh. I'm loving this song. Oh my god, I just got like five seconds of Tyler laughing. Ah, they're trying to kill me. That was an amazing song. I, that might be my favorite. Like, it's changing a lot, but that might be my favorite. The next song is called Hero. Let's do this. Okay. Okay. Calm down. Oh my god. I love this. Excuse me. That was absolutely superb, okay? Not even amazing. Superb. We're up there now. Tyler's falsetto kills me. The next song is called Coma. And this song did come out a few weeks ago or about a month ago. So I'm not really gonna... I'm not gonna react to it in this video because I've already heard it. It's an amazing song, like amazing. Um, I'll just keep the camera. Huh. So yeah, we're just gonna skip over it. We're gonna go to Rank Rider now. Okay, okay. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna jump out the window, bye. Oh, snap, oh, snap. Ah! My goodness. That sounds like a song that they would play live. That and Flojo sounds like songs that they would play live that like everyone would get like so hyped to. The next song is called Blue Wall, but that song did come out a few weeks ago. Um, and I heard them play it on their last, like on their tour that they just got off of. So we're just gonna not react to that because I've already heard it a few times. But the second, the second, the next song is called Someone Who Does. Oh! Oh my gosh. I want to die. Oh! Everything about this album is amazing. I haven't heard one song that I don't like. This next one is called I Always Knew. I feel like this is going to be kind of like a sadder one. This sounds like a 911 call. And I'm not liking it. So that was n not as depressing as I thought it was going to be, but like, depressing enough. Um, there were no words to that song, but I kind of like instrumental songs in albums, especially like little short ones, like that one was only two minutes long. I thought it was really nice, and I can tell that that song is going to kind of like lead into the next one. So we're just going to get into the last song. Here it is. goodness that album was more than I could have ever expected it to be not gonna lie when issues releases new music I get kind of afraid because I feel like their sound doesn't necessarily change but it does vary a lot and I feel like their last album was way different than like their first EP with this album headspace they did a fantastic job at keeping like the issues sound 
but also like venturing off into like different kinds of things. And I also love that they did feature Ty in this album, which if you don't know who he is, he used to be like the DJ, like he used to like spin the records and play keyboard. It was really awesome. But he did leave the band, but he was still a part of this record, and I think that was so amazing. But he doesn't tour with them, unfortunately. But it's okay, because, like, they're still releasing banging music. Home Soon, so good. Definitely, like, a great first impression. Home Soon and Lost and Found and Flojo. Definitely my three favorites. They just, like, really got me going, and those are the three that stood out to me the most for some reason. I think it's, like, the mixture of, like, the hard, kind of, like, screaming... Bits. And also Tyler's falsetto just brings me over the freaking edge. I'm obsessed with him. It's all good. Um, comment down below what your favorite songs on this album were because I want to know and I want to know like why you like them and like whatever. <laughs> all in all, Headspace, 10 out of 10. Like I was honestly scared for this album, but it is a 10 out of 10. Such a banger. Oh my goodness issues you really outdid yourself like they outdone themselves like no other like it's amazing i love them so much as you can tell by all the freaking screeching and screaming i done in this video that wasn't even english i'm still excited um make sure you give this a big thumbs up if you like this video and give it a big thumbs up if you liked the album because you know thumbs up are cool that means that you like stuff <laughs> Also, if you're not subscribed already, you should subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of reaction videos to like songs and albums and music videos, and I feel like people just get like a good laugh out of them. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. You should follow me if you're not already. It'd be really cool and then we could be friends. Um, that is it for this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it, and I love you all so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye!